and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I am riding the Eric Graffiti, I'm going to turn right here, and we're heading to do the hill climb again. If you watched back, I'm not sure exactly how long ago it was, but a little bit ago, I did a hill climb attempt on the Lyric Graffiti, the bike I'm on now, and I was going up the hill fine at about 25, 26 miles an hour, I think it was, and the fuse blew on the battery. So I have since gotten a new fuse in the battery, and I've been waiting for a decent day it's not too cold or wet to do it and today we're in the high 50s and I thought this afternoon here hey let's let's go and give it a shot and I think we're gonna be fine we were going up there at about 25 miles an hour like I say 26 miles an hour and then the fuse blew but we've got a bigger fuse that will take us beyond the amps that the bike What's that? So we should be fine. Let's go give it a go. It'll take me a few minutes to get there to that same hill I want to do. There's several monster hills around here. But I want to, if I can, I want to go to the same one. It wouldn't matter if it's the same one or one of the other ones. All those roads have pretty similar hills. So, I'm doing this on a Friday afternoon, so at about 2.30 in the afternoon, so it might be a little bit busy on the road here, but the road I'm heading to, where I turn left up here at the light, I'm going to turn left, and where I, uh, where I turn there, that's where the bike lane conveniently enough ends so I gotta kind of I'll keep over to the uh, to the right but uh, the speed limit there I think it's 35 uh, for some of it I don't know I can't remember if it's the whole road or not but the, the distance we're going uh, where I'm going here it'll be about 35 but Rather than being right in with the traffic, I am just going to stay on the side. Because some people might want to go faster than that. Actually, we're climbing a hill right now to get there. Right here. This is a pretty good hill right here. I am on the other battery. I have two batteries. Only one new fuse, but I'm getting the other fuse is coming. And uh, so I don't want to use... I don't want to use that battery till we get there and I'm going to turn it, switch it from uh, the battery I'm on now to that battery. So uh, hopefully this light uh, recognizes me here. I think it is. And uh, this is where the bike lane ends as you'll be able to see right here. 35 miles an hour, I think the bike wouldn't have a problem being right there, but I'm going to stay off on the side. I'm not going full throttle or anything, but I'm still doing 30 miles an hour, so... This bike is really, really smooth. Okay, this is not the hill. That's not it. Trying to find the right one. It doesn't matter though, like I say, I could go up any of those, but I think it was a little further down here that I did. I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the one. Brighton Heights, I remember that. Okay, so it's this road here. So I'm going to stop, I'm going to switch batteries, 
and you can see it's a pretty steep hill here fairly steep and it's long so let me turn on the other battery I'm gonna just have one battery going because if it did have an issue I still have the other battery to get back home all right so I'll crank it up to uh, the number nine on the uh, assist level and here we go and I have it full throttle and it's gaining speed I can feel it picking up speed I'm kind of measuring also how long this hill is it'll take me to the next road which is quite a ways and there are points here where it levels out a bit not much but a bit and then it's a pretty steep right here this is really steep let's see what happens stop sign right here i think we're already past what it did before actually and then look at ahead i think it may have cut out again let's see you have to turn it off and on if something happened. <laughs> now it's going again. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's take a run at it. Get across the street. Oh yeah, it's climbing up at no problem. Big turn here. Leveling out. We're actually going down a little here right here and then we're going to turn and keep going that's the problem there's stop signs along the way so that makes it worse but these are really monster hills wow all right now look at this straight up Twenty two miles an hour, gaining speed twenty four, and then it levels out. Now we're going down. Maybe that was it. I thought it went further, but so definitely not a problem. Yeah, I guess that was it. But it, it conquered that. How about that? If you ever want to test your bike for hill climbing, come here. Like these hills are ginormous. Uh, they're... Um, like I say, if you ever want to test your bike for hill climbs, come to, come to my neighborhood. You know, not just a few minutes, uh, basically, from where I live. We've got some uh, mountains for you to climb. If your bike can do this, then basically it can do anything. You're not going to get worse roads than this. I mean, this is as steep as it comes. Everything else now is downhill. 
This is how far we've come up. I'm going to ride around over here for a minute. Some beautiful houses up in this area too. And the building never stops, they're building more and more. Well, that's going to do it for the hill climbing video. Thank you for coming aboard to watch the Clear Graffiti conquer some monster hills here. And it didn't feel like it was slowing down at all. It felt like it was just steady as she goes or even could increase. I don't even think, I don't remember having it full throttle just starting out. So it might have even been able to go a little faster, but definitely goes in the it went it definitely in the 20s it may even be able to go 30 miles an hour up that hill i don't know these hills but but under normal conditions you're not going to get hills that are uh this much like this is extreme where i am here no under normal uh place like normal situations where you are i'm sure you don't have this and if you do then um i don't see any reason why this bike wouldn't work for you the lyric graffiti so that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for that. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And also, if you'd like to purchase the Lyric Graffiti, I do have a link in the description. If you click that link and then it'll take you to the site and if you use the discount code Oregon e-biker mark you'll save yourself $150 off of a Lyric Graffiti bike so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care